In the shocking events, the Assam police faked escort to stranded Mizoram-bound truckers this morning in the current boundary standoff between the two states. As many as 160 trucks carrying essential commodities for Mizoram remain stranded at Qatar area, out of which 16 are driven by Mizo drivers who took refuge at the Mizoram house Siltar for their safety since Wednesday, when boundary standoff had erupted again. One sub-inspector of police and two constables approached these stranded Mizo drivers at Mizoram House Siltar at around 1.45 a.m. this morning, telling them that it was safe to cross the boundary and that they would provide an escort to them. The beauty resident commissioner of Mizoram posted at Siltar Mizoram House, Ms. Lazik Pui, however, mitigating the possible danger the Mizo drivers could encounter at the highway, deployed one Mizo police and three CRPF personnel posted at Mizoram House Siltar to go along with the Mizo drivers. Sub-inspector of Assam police and two constables provided escort Mizo drivers up to Sonabarigat from which four police personnel of Assam replaced them up to Kabunganj area. Here, to the surprise of the Mizo drivers, the Assam police, on the pretext that it was no longer their area, told the Mizo drivers that they could no longer proceed further and told them to contact Dholai police outposts by themselves. By that time, police duty at Dholai police station were fast asleep that the Mizo drivers had to wake them up on reaching the place. Three police personnel without arms from Dolai police station provided escort to Mizo drivers. However, in a big surprise to these Mizo drivers, on reaching Lailapul police check gate, these Assam police disappeared and left them at the hands of furious civilians of Lailapur. The Mizo drivers reported that as soon as they reached Lailapul, a large number of furious civilians armed with blades and sticks surrounded them and threatened them for their lives. Luckily, one Mizo police and three CRPF personnel traveling with the Mizo drivers managed to stop these angry civilians from attacking them, and they managed to head back to Siltar Mizoram House. It may be recalled that on the current boundary standoff between Mizoram and Assam, the Union Home Secretary Mr. Ajay Kumar Bala had convened video conferencing on Thursday evening where Mizoram Chief Secretary Lalun Moet Swaungo and Assam Chief Secretary Kumar Sanjay Krishna participated. Following their discussions, the Mizoram government immediately provided an escort to Assam-bound trucks stranded within Mizoram up to Qatar area. All the stranded trucks within Mizoram safely crossed the boundary that evening. However, the administration of Assam side does not comply with the decisions of Chief Surgery's level meeting and continue with its economic blockade. Not even a single truck has entered Mizoram for the past three days, that is, since Wednesday. This could be seen as a total breakdown of law and order situation at Qatar area of Assam. Lalnun Moya Tsuangho sent an urgent DO letter today to the Chief Secretary of Assam asking him to urgently inquire into the matter and to give consent to the government of Mizoram to send police forces at its disposal up to Siltar to escort all stranded vehicles along national highway bound for Mizoram as the drivers have completely lost faith in the Assam police. As Assam continues its economic blockade by cutting off the only lifeline of Mizoram, the government of Mizoram begins to lift essential commodities from Manipur. Today, the government of Mizoram deployed five tank lorry and one truck to lift POL and LPG from Manipur in addition to two trucks already deployed yesterday. Mizoram is planning to lift essential commodities from Manipur, Tripura and from the neighboring countries of Myanmar and Bangladesh if Assam does not lift its economic blockade. Mizoram Supply Minister Mr. Kela Rinliana said that all necessary arrangement has been made on this behalf. The present boundary dispute between Assam and Mizoram was triggered by the war game played by District Collector of Karimganj District of Assam on 9 October when a farmhouse was ignited to flames at Tinglun village, Mizoram, followed by Saihapui V incident where a Mizo duty post was completely destroyed on 16 October. The height of that dispute eventually resulted in a heated clash from both sides of the civilians at the border, which happened on the night of 17 October 2020. On 28 October, Qatar DC and Assam police visited Saihapui V, warning Mizoram to withdraw their force, or the Assam police would deploy a large number of their armed forces at the border line, and all vehicles entering Mizoram from Qatar area had been blocked since that day. Kolase District Magistrate Dr. H. Lal Thangliana, on visiting the site on 30th October, said that the roadblock was conducted by Qatar police and not the civilians. In a meeting between the two states on 29th October, Chief Secretary Pulal Nunmoye Tsuangho said that the Mizo residents at the Assam borderline needed protection and safety. And hence, Mizoram cannot withdraw its forces from its border. He also said the Assam senior officers should refrain from constantly threatening the Mizo police at their assigned duty posts. 
The recent incidents and frequent blockade of national highway by Assam clearly indicates the total breakdown of law and order situation at Qatar area of Assam. The current situation and negligence of the safety of people requires an urgent attention from the central government.